Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today's gonna be a really quick video on the Raptor order that I've been talking to all of you about. You can see that there's a Raptor behind me. I actually filmed a quick review of this so you guys can kind of see a full overlook on this Raptor, but we're actually gonna head inside of the Raptor because it's got my uh, order sheet. So this is the order sheet that I spec'd out on the Raptor. So you guys can see all of the options that I chose on this particular Raptor, essentially, right here. And then you guys can see the total price right there on the Raptor. So that's kind of like the spec that I'm going for. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around on this truck with you guys to kind of show what options that I this truck has and what options that it doesn't have that I kind of went for. So uh, let's close the door and kind of get to that first. I did the black paint and the reason being is I plan on wrapping the truck. I've gotten a lot of good ideas. I want you guys all to leave in the comment section below what color you want me to wrap the truck. And the reason I'm doing black is it's a really good base. It just it just looks good when you wrap over. It kind of looks like shadows on the parts that show through on the wrap, whereas my truck that's over there, you can't really see it, is silver underneath and it kind of looks a little bit funny. Um, option wise, I did not get any stripes. I'm gonna wrap over it so it doesn't make sense to get those. Um, and then I did the 802A, I think is a package called, so it's fully loaded. So it's got like all the safety stuff. So it'll have like the forward facing camera, all that kind of stuff. And then I did get the beadlock rims on that um, particular order as well. So I think these rims look a lot better than the stock rims that come with like the regular, they is our stock rims, but you know, the regular rims, I think these ones look significantly better. And then it'll show through when I paint the brake calipers, any color, it'll show through a lot more. Um, and then obviously side steps will come with all of them. I'm kind of thinking about making it two-tone like what I did with my truck right here. You can see the separation. So I'm thinking maybe making this one two-tone, um, kind of like matte so it matches the fenders, just like what I did on the other truck. Let me know what you guys think on that. And then in terms of stuff in the back here, so it'll have like all the blind spot monitoring, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if the bed step was in there, but I don't think I want to get it because I kind of like just having a regular bed and I'll ask them. I mean, if it's going to help with like resale value, then I'll get a bed step. If it's not really going to help with resale value, then I think that's kind of worthless. So yeah, that's kind of my thing. And then yes, bed liner. I don't want to have to deal with getting that sprayed after the fact. It's pretty easy to get a bed sprayed after the fact, but it was kind of annoying. Um, and then immediately I will get a new exhaust when I take delivery of the truck. Anyways, in the rear, um, package wise, yes, carbon fiber package. That is a must. And then you guys saw the seats. So not the standard seats. I'm going for the Recaro seats. I think they look significantly better. I love the Alcantara inserts and the blue accents look fantastic. So keep that in mind when you are mentioning what color you think I should wrap the outside of the truck with. Keep in mind that the interior is gonna be blue accenting. So it's gotta be something that doesn't really clash with the blue. Um, basically but yeah i mean that's what i'm thinking about order wise on the raptor let me know what you think on that specification let me know if you think i missed anything and yes i did put a moon roof sorry i forgot to mention that i did also put a moon roof on that configuration so let me know if you think i should take away an option or if i should add an option right now i think that like that configuration i showed you stickers for about seventy four thousand dollars yeah, just let me know what you think on that, guys. And again, thank you to Ford Lincoln here in Provo for providing us with the uh, truck to kind of do this little quick walk around. I'll include a link to their inventory um, below if you guys want to check out that kind of stuff if you're in the market for a Ford. But I will see all of you in that next video. So this after scene is going to be something to tell you guys something absolutely hilarious that... I just, I couldn't manage having. So, as you guys all know, I was just down at the Ford dealership this morning. I know I'm pointing at a Ram, but I was at the Ford dealership with my Rebel looking at, you know, a trade-in with a 2020 Raptor. And the funniest thing happened, so I've been talking to this dealership for a while with the ordering details and everything. And I texted the salesperson this morning, you know, the poll that I had with you guys. And you guys, a lot of you voted for the Raptor out of the three options that I gave you. And so I get in there and I'm going over the options on the build sheet and then I'm like, so when is this thing gonna come in? And then, I kid you not, the vendor asked the salesperson, he's like, hey, can you go check with the ordering guy to uh, go see if it does? So, right, he's, he's walking he's walking out of the room, okay? And then he like turns back around, okay? He turns back around and he goes, I already ordered the truck without asking you. And I was like, dude, funniest thing that has ever happened. I was gonna get their truck regardless, but I think it's so funny that the salesperson legit like 
just mustered the strength to just order it without asking anyone. But I mean, I appreciate it because now that means I'm gonna get a truck so much earlier. So the 2020 Raptor, I'm supposed to get it sometime in November roughly. I was expecting January next year, but it looks like we're gonna be getting a November delivery.